So today on Project Shop, we're going to uh, be taking this trailer and my trailer up and uh, getting some uh, welding tables. Um, I'm not sure what we're actually getting um, and how many of them, but we're supposed to go up there. And uh, this thing here is looking nice in the morning sun. I actually, when I painted this yesterday, uh, I just found some paint cans um, and uh, we just kind of painted it with three different types of paint so there's like a matte in here there's a semi gloss and a high gloss all mixed in but it looks good oh let me let me hook it up all right so this is the fastest and furthest uh this trailer has ever gone we're about an hour into the trip we're in the middle of nowhere uh somewhere in the middle of the state of florida and uh, trailer seems to be good, other than that bent side there where I tried to bend it straight. I'll have to heat that up and bend it before I put a gate. Um, everything seems to be good, doing good with the trailer. Oh shit! <laughs> it's not flying around too much. Um, and uh, the rear axle, I don't know if it's the front axle or the rear axle. One of them seems a couple inches over or an inch off. Um, other than that, it seems good and hopefully it'll uh, make it through this trip if it does i gotta get up underneath of it and inspect the welds and everything really well because uh, uh the, the stuff that was uh, falling apart didn't give me too much confidence in whoever had this trailer before me so hopefully we'll make it to our destination and uh, see what happens when we get there all right so we made it this is our task for the day this thing's probably eight feet wide 20 feet long. Cut it. These are the sheets. I don't think these are quite half of the plate. Um, but underneath, it's all these ribs. See that? So, we're going to have to get under there and cut it with the torch for each section at a time and uh, drag them on the trailer. Are you taking the helmet?
Shut up and sit down. Shut up and sit down. All right, doing good. Got it all strapped down. I wound up getting a, uh, like a 20 foot um, sailboat mast. It's actually in pretty good condition. Just needs to be cleaned up. I live in West Palm Beach. Uh, that might be an easy sell. If not, it'll go to the scrap yard. Um, these plates, I got them strapped down pretty good. They ain't moved. And uh, we actually have to go back up there and uh, Pick up some more uh, steel, steel tables and some scrap, a couple i beams. This little trailer seems to be uh, holding up pretty well. We're gonna actually have to, uh... oh, I hear some clunk in there. That was that one we just replaced too. temperature I actually have one of those laser uh, infrared guns a lot of times I'll check these if I'm hauling a lot of weight long distance it's good to uh, I need to tighten that up it's good to, to keep an eye on the temperature of bearings you see one of them things getting super hot man I keep bearings uh, Barons and races and grease and everything everything I need to change a baron right on the side of the road so I'm just gonna tighten this up here I told him to uh, pull forward and slam on the brakes and move this shit forward um, but 
The only problem with this trailer is it only really has one pick point. So, we'll, uh, oh, shit. All right, so it's the next day, and uh, I want to offload the uh, sailboat mast here, and then um, I'm going to try to get one of these plates off and up on top of my breakdown table. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try. And then the rest of the plates are going to go over, and uh, we're going to take them off with a forklift. But uh, I'm going to see if I can't maneuver these off of here, or at least one of them. Okay, this is where we're at. I got my... Uh, super boom set up i'm gonna pick my wire stripper up my homemade wire stripper off the table well and i'm gonna try to slide this plate right up onto that table so i can cut it up and get it right onto my other table because i ain't i ain't messing around these other plates we're gonna go put somewhere else but uh this one here it's gonna stay here and um i want to show you something so these are uh half inch thick plates see that let me see see that half inch when we were cutting these up i'm thinking man this thing looks thin looks thinner than my half inch table i got at the house now these tables i paid uh 75 dollars for two or uh, a piece for two of them so it was but this one here is actually it's hard to see it's like five h thick but you know i thought i was fucking cool shit having a big ass steel plate like this this ain't nothing when I was up there, I met a dude, old timer, had the most impressive shop I've ever seen. Had like three gantry cranes, all kinds of milling machines, lathes, grinders. This dude had a 10 foot by 5 foot, 1 inch thick welding table. And that guy instantly became my new hero. Anyway, um, I'm going to set up a time lapse. I'm going to set this on the ground. We're going to roll this over here and um, see if we can't just slide that plate from the trailer onto this table without dropping that plate on myself so wish me luck <laughs> All right, I got it over here. Man, this thing is huge. This is gonna be awesome. Uh, all that big old gap right there on that table. And then that whole area is gonna be plated with this. Um, and then uh, one step closer to uh, breaking electric motors and stators. And then I'm gonna have um, access to all these other sheets to cut up as much steel as I need to do whatever I want. To build all the machines I need uh, to rip the copper out of everything. So I got to strap this down, go over. We're going to offload this with a forklift. And then um, I got to go pick up some more free lights. I don't know what's happening, man, but uh, I haven't paid for anything in uh, probably a week now. So uh, I'm liking this. <laughs> Let's see if we can keep this streak going. <laughs> I'm going to try to liberate uh, all this stuff off of this giant plate of steel. Um, I already took my big old Makita grinder and I'm using a uh, Diablo metal cutoff blade. And uh, I made a couple cuts right here. 
and it seemed to go pretty quick so what i'm going to do is go ahead and cut them all i think i'll pretty much be able to get them all like free it up and then uh later i'll try to uh free all these welds um as well and then utilize this steel we got some awesome little i-beams the high beams i got they're not much bigger than this they're way more stout than this though and i got another big i-beam i've been sitting on it's probably 20 feet long maybe not 20 feet it's pretty long maybe 12 feet i was exaggerating you know how that goes uh anyway we're gonna uh uh cut this at probably six foot and then we'll have four foot of plate to actually plate um uh, and we're gonna do six foot this way and that table is four foot wide um so we're gonna come actually i don't know i don't know yet you know what i'm gonna do i'm going to cut this off move that out this way and put this whole plate up there and see what see where we're at and then i was thinking because i got to cut a notch see where that post is the plate actually has to go on an angle so that you can kind of stand close to the center of the machine which i'll get into later but um i'm thinking about mocking it up with like a piece of plywood first and then um so i can get the angle right without ruining this plate because i only want to cut this thing one time okay i got my five dollar fireman jacket that my landlord so was so quick to uh confiscate while we were cutting these up uh don't worry i hosed it off and uh, it's been drying in the sun for two days but anyway um we're gonna uh, put this on and get to cutting Okay, that went pretty easy. I grinded them welds, try to save as much of that metal as possible. And um, now we've got an awesome 10 foot sheet. Obviously this will be the bottom. The other side of this is a real nice finish. I might clean this up and probably paint it just to keep it from rusting um, while it's up underneath. And then, uh, yeah, I was dreading having to buy half inch plate for everything i need and uh now i got so much half inch plate i don't know what to do with it and then this frame here may not look heavy but this thing is heavy as freak uh it's 10 feet long and that's some nice steel and this is what we're going to use for the parts we need for the stator wrecker framing uh for the splitters the pullers um we just came right in the nick of time so now we just need uh, some hydraulics, some blades, and I need to make some new pullers because the one I have worked, but the leverage was wrong, uh, which we could probably just modify it. And then, uh, so that's gonna be it for today. I'll be back here tomorrow. You good? Film this. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're cutting, uh, we're building a little trailer over there. taking it easy all my soul blades. yeah we got a uh, hundred foot extensions we're building another trailer for the beach let's see nice there we go well, you got fucking swivel axles now 